Here's the electronic uh, drive-by wire system for the gas. This is for the diesel. Uh, I don't think the gas engines have these. This part is basically a variable potentiometer made by Bosch and you can find it in almost any BMW also from the mid 90s up. This is a replacement part from a BMW 320. It's the same exact part that goes into the Range Rover. This is attached to the gas pedal and then you twist this potentiometer uh, but depending on how much gas you give. So I'm gonna measure uh, the different uh, wires there. There's uh, up to two switches inside this plus the potentiometer. On these diesels the kick down switch isn't uh, used. So this one just has one switch that tells um, the system if the gas pedal is in the idle position if you're not giving any gas. If you're applying less than 9 degrees of gas uh, angle on the gas pedal, a switch inside here will tell the engine uh, computer that uh, you're not giving any gas and will go into idle mode. Those are uh, connected between the yellow, green and uh, grey wire. The yellow is um, a ground reference point. And the grey and the green is uh, for the idle and kick down switch. On the other side you have a brown, purple and white wire. The brown wire is a reference point to ground. The purple one is a positive voltage supply. Probably 5 volts, uh, I'm not sure. It could be 12 volts, but I think it's 5 volts coming from the engine uh, system. And the white wire is the reference signal, depending on how much uh, gas you give. So you should measure between the white and purple and the white and brown when you're checking to see if um, the potential meter works. And for the idle switch, uh, measure between the yellow and the grey wire. Grey is the idle signal and green is the kick down signal. This one and the one in both my Range Rovers don't have the kick down signal, so you won't get any uh, measurements out of it, it'll just be an open loop or a broken connection between the green and the yellow wire, no matter what you do with the potentiometer. Between the yellow and grey wire there will be an open loop when the pedal is in the idle position when you're not giving any gas. As soon as you're giving a little bit gas or more, you'll get about 800 to 900 ohms of resistance between those pins through the whole range of the pedal. Here I have my multimeter, it's set for um, resistance, ohms, as you can see by the omega sim symbol. Um, we'll uh, test and see if it works by just attaching these two wires, we should get about zero, if I can do it right. Zero means no resistance, that is, it's a short circuit. So here's the setup to check the idle switch. I'm back probing the yellow and grey wires using my multimeter and I'll start to move the gas pedal slowly so you can see that uh, and then the meter will uh, self-detect the range you see about 870 ohms until I get back to idle it opens up and gets a broken connection now I have it set up to back probe the white and purple wires, the purple being the reference voltage and white being signal to the engine computer that tells you how much gas you're giving. And you can see in idle position you have about 2.2 kilo ohms. You see the K before the ohm symbol here up in the display. So that means about 2200 ohms at idle. And as soon as you start giving a little bit gas, the value drops. It drops about to about 1.7 kilo ohms at wide open throttle. I'll back it up slowly and you can see it increases gradually as I release the gas pedal to about 2.2 kilo ohms at idle again. Doing the same measurements between uh, white and brown wire, which is the brown is the reference ground signal, you get about 1. Um, 1.3 kilo ohms at idle and as soon as you start to apply a little bit gas the value increases 
at wide open throttle you get about 1.9 kilo ohms and as soon as I back off the gas pedal regularly you can see the value decreases to back to 1.3 kilo ohms, 1.27 kilo ohms that we had. So this is the way you can check and see if your um, engine gas pedal uh, potentiometer works. You should disconnect this plug from the harness or else you'll measure the um, electronics in the engine computer as well and you'll probably get a different uh, reading. I'll put the part numbers and all the details down in the description. Hopefully you'll find this uh, useful. Thanks for watching and if you feel like it, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.